you're not familiar with buying and selling shares, then you won't be familiar with buying and selling XTBs. If you have an advisor or a stockbroker, financial planner or a stockbroker, they know what they're doing. You tell them, here's what I want to do. I want to buy these XTBs. And that's what they do for you. If you're doing it by yourself um, via an online broker, then you need to know what to do. The first thing you need to know when you're buying securities is what is the ASX code? Every XTB starts with the code YTM, and then there's another three letters, BHP for BHP, TLS for Telstra, LLC for Lendlease. So you go onto our website, if you've picked your three or five, find the code on the website because we have them all there, and then write that down on a piece of paper, and then go to your online broker account. Then you need to know, well, how much am I investing? And obviously if you're investing $100,000 or $10,000 or a million dollars, you're actually working out how many of these do I want to buy? Um, and you can find the latest prices of the XTVs on your online broker, and you can work out how many of them you need to buy. So essentially, you're buying your number of XTVs by sticking in the code, just like you would for buying shares or an ETF, and sticking in the number you want to buy. And you can either stick in the price yourself, or usually the online broker will tell you you can buy at market, which is the latest price or um, they'll show you what the latest price is at that point in time and you put in that price. Then you know the code, the number you're buying and the price and that's how you buy or sell XTBs just like shares, just like ETFs. Um, of course, if you're holding to maturity, you don't need to do that. You just buy them and you're not selling. You just hold to maturity and you get sent the, the principal and the coupons. So buying and selling XTBs is just the same as buying and selling shares or ETFs. If you're using an online broker, it's not very difficult these days, but remember the code, the number of units, and the price are the things you will need. If you're doing it via your financial planner or your broker, they do that for you.